back. Imagine running through the woods with zombies on your tail trying to take a bite out of you. This is going to be one of the weirdest segments we have ever done in television, folks. It's happening, though, as part of the zombie run this Saturday. Ken Parks is here to tell us a little bit more about it. Ken, and uh, I'm going to do my best to get through this thing without freaking out because these people around us are a little bit scary. <laughs> yes, they are. Uh, this is going to be a really immersive experience. The kid's um, face is falling off. <laughs> yeah, that happens with zombies. <laughs> Their skin tends to melt. <laughs> so, so, so what happens here? Well, basically, this is a 5K obstacle course, and you have you have to get through the finish line with uh, at least one of your three balloons intact, and that represents lives. Zombies are going to be after you. They're going to be strategically placed all over the course, and uh, you have to avoid these guys. Now, there's a twist to this. You have to avoid the farmers as well, because the farmers are in cahoots. Okay. They want to feed you to the zombies. So the farmers are going to feed you in that direction. I mean, these are some authentic-looking... Yeah. Scare yeah. These are some authentic uh, looking dudes. This doesn't look like something I should take my 9 and 11 year old girls to. No, actually, they're, it's, it's fun for all ages. Is we it have okay? different heats, different age groups to race in this. And uh, you'll go through the course and you'll have a story in the beginning. And then you have to go through the obstacle course and make it to the, the safe zone. You have to get okay. to the safe zone and see who can make it. But uh, it, it's, it's a real immersive experience. Now, we actually have a movie that we've made for this as well that explains the whole story okay. about how they turned into zombies. It, it sounds like a blast, and, and the movie obviously very interesting. Where do you get these guys from? Because not only are they really creepy, but they're kind of athletic-looking creepy, so they can run around and catch the fast guys. Absolutely. That's the best thing about this. We're going to have slow zombies, your typical Romero zombies that just kind of meander around. We're going to have a few that just kind of lay there, dance around, and we're going to have some that will actually uh, be as fast as the runners. Is that right? Yeah, okay. So, uh, yeah, you, it's, that's not the typical zombie race. This is going to be the most amazing race that we've had in the city so far. All right, we're going to check back in and, uh, with you guys coming up in our next half hour if their faces don't entirely melt off by the time we get there. So you guys go underground or whatever it is you have to do, and we'll check back in with our zombies in our next half hour. The zombie stampede happening this Saturday in eastern Jefferson County. The address right there on your screen. You can also find the information on our website, whs11.com. Brooke Katz.